Well, my name is Elizabeth Burpee, and I am a third year resident in internal medicine at the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque. And um, today, Congressman Udall uh, walked a day in my shoes. Hi, Elizabeth, how are you? It's a real, it's a real pleasure. Walking in Elizabeth's shoes was so helpful for me because uh, you really get a sense of what uh, a resident does. How have you been since we saw you last? We provided patient okay. care to one of our folks that's seen regularly so, here at the clinic. Um, and he worked with me throughout the course of the um, patient interaction. And we were able to interview the patient together and examine her. He helped me with her physical examination. She's got a good heart. She has a good heart. <laughs> we went through her lab work together and talked about the importance of her taking her medications and he was involved in our discussion. After our, my visit with the patient, Tom went with me to present my patient to my attending doctor who is my mentor, my teacher here in the clinic. She's made some pretty good changes since you... We presented the patient to my attending together and we went through her um, the interview and the physical exam and how she's doing and then we talked about her problems and uh, came up with some ideas as to how we're going to um, continue to treat her problems. And so he was very active in, um, in all parts of that. Seeing these patients on a, a consistent basis, hour after hour, uh, 80 hours a week is what these residents are working. It's an exhausting job. It's a job that takes tremendous commitment. Uh, it's a job that we should be rewarding more. A resident doctor is a doctor who has completed medical school. Um, but has not yet completed a specialty training. I can write you a prescription for that too. We were um, paid a, a lower salary. Our work hours are very long. It used to be that resident doctors had an unlimited number of hours that we would work and we were required to stay into the, in the hospital until the work was done. And how often do you get to sleep on those 30 hour shifts? There are conditions of our working lives that need to be uh, changed in order for us to be able to provide better care for our patients. Residents organizing and becoming a, 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 a group, uh, in this case the Committee of Interns and Residents, CIR, uh, is a powerful voice in the community, uh, the medical community that they're in, to speak up not only for themselves to get adequate working conditions, but also for the patients. And that's something that I think is is tremendously important here. They're not just organizing for themselves, they're organizing for better patient care, and that's just very important. I told them, you know, what motivated residents to want to unionize with CIR, SEIU. You weren't at the table, and now you're at the exactly. table and you're being heard. Yeah, yeah that's, it's that's very important. Exciting. The most important thing that I took away from today is the powerful voice uh, that CIR has for betterment, for change, uh, for moving the system in the right direction. It was a great experience and uh, Congressman Udall was uh, very personable and um, very interested in what we do and had really great pertinent questions regarding what we do and the patients that we care for and, and I think it was, it was a great day. It was a huge success.